Transitioning back to the tropics, we covered this earlier in the newscast, but we have our new tropical storm not looking like a really classic, well-defined or organized tropical storm at all. We'll see whether the center kind of jumps around as the National Hurricane Center says it could. It looks like it will continue moving to the northwest and then maybe eventually become a hurricane late this weekend and possibly get near Bermuda. That's the only land area that's looking at this point for any kind of impacts even potential impacts from Gabrielle. So Bermuda will be watching this for early next week to see exactly what eventual impacts may be, but otherwise not expected to have any impact on the US or even Caribbean islands. Not going to see a lot from this system. There's another wave coming behind it, but it doesn't look like this one will really develop. Our models are going pretty weak with this one kind of making it fizzle by this weekend. Here is Gabrielle taking its turn to the north, maybe getting close to Bermuda late this weekend and early next week. And then as you can see, we may see a couple more waves coming off the coast of Africa, but conditions just have not been all that conducive to really getting these going. And even the tropical storm that we do have out there after a big break since late August, even that one is not very well organized. It might take a while to get going. So we'll keep you updated on everything, but it looks like it will take that path, by the way, curving around that big high pressure, the ridge of high pressure out in the Atlantic Ocean. And that is a nice track that it takes. Aside from the Bermuda concern, good when these systems can take that early turn, of course, and stay over the Atlantic as opposed to barreling toward the Caribbean or the Gulf or the U.S. East Coast. Hurricane season so far, we have the new storm as of 10 a.m. this morning, so we've made it now to seven official named storms. The average at this point in the year is nine. We've had the one hurricane that was also our one major hurricane, Aaron, in the middle point of August, of course, made it to Category 5 status. But at this point in the year, actually, we uh, if you look at an average of the past 30 years, have made it to four hurricanes and one major hurricane. So a little below average, not only for the named storms, and the hurricanes, but also for the ACE, the accumulated cyclone energy, which we cover a lot. So a little bit on the quiet side for sure. And we'll take it. Seven day forecast shows a little increase in rain chance, maybe a couple more stray showers by this weekend. The heat really not changing a whole lot all the way into early next week.